Okay, so you have a Samsung Galaxy S6 or an S7 or the S6 Edge or the S7 Edge, okay? And basically you have a touch screen issue, okay? Maybe your screen is um, oversensitive or it's undersensitive, okay? Oversensitive basically um, what I mean is, you know, you're scrolling through your phone and apps constantly keep popping on or maybe you're browsing the internet and you're scrolling down and you're hitting links and you're just magically uh, opening up. Or maybe you're even having like um, phantom pressing or ghost pressing where maybe, you know, your back button automatically just clicks without you even doing nothing or your back button keeps hitting. Or if your phone is um, is under sensitive, basically what I mean by that is if you constantly cl um, click on an app and it takes, you know, you like three, four, five, six, maybe even 10 tries to finally get that app open. I'm gonna show you guys what you can do to uh, fix that. And I'm basically gonna give you two methods, okay? And the thing is like one method may work for you guys, the second method may work for the other guys, and the combination of both will um, can very well help the rest of you as well, okay? Now this isn't gonna help all you guys, but uh, I, I'm gonna bet like at least 50% of you guys, like this is gonna this is gonna fix your fix your touchscreen issue, okay? Now just one more thing, if this doesn't work and your screen is uh, oversensitive, like for example, I had my S7 was oversensitive, uh, when I did this procedure here, I worked on my S7, but also if it's oversensitive and it doesn't work, what you can do is you can pop on a, um, a screen protector or even a case to make it less sensitive, okay? That's just for you, just FYI, okay? So anyway, so let's do this, okay? The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna open up the phone here, the phone, the phone dialer, and then we're gonna have to push a combination here. So we, the combination is uh, star, pound, two, six, six, three, and then pound. Okay, and this firmware version here will pop up. What we have to do from here is we have to, um, we have to um, press on this TSP FW update general. TSP basically is your uh, touch screen panel. Okay, now just take note really quick. If that combination didn't work for you guys, this combination should work for like T-Mobile phones, um, uh, AT&T, I believe it'll work for Verizon. But if it doesn't work for your phone, there's other combinations that you can do. For instance, I don't I don't remember the combination I used for a phone um, like from a ways back, but it was something like um, star, pound, star, pound, two, six, six, three, and then pound, and then it went into that, um, that, that page. Now, if none of these uh, codes work for you, then just Google your carrier or whatever, and you know, hopefully you'll be able to find it on there. Okay, anyways. Let me go back to that original code that I had. So it's a star pound two six six three, and then pound. Here we go. So first thing we're gonna do here is we're gonna go and tap on the TSP FW update general. Okay, so I'm gonna tap on that. Now it's updating. Warning: Do not turn off. Give this like I don't know, like twenty seconds. It's always pretty fast. And then once it's uh, updated, it should say uh, update complete, and it's a pass. Okay, perfect. Now what we the second step we want to do from here is we want to go into your settings. So scroll down, tap on your gear icon, and then you want to go down to where it says language and input. Language and input. And then at the very bottom here, it says pointer speed. Tap on that and make sure that this is around the middle, okay? Put on the middle, make sure you press on okay. And that's pretty much it. Now go ahead and play with your phone. Hopefully your touch screen is up to par the way it's supposed to be. And if this worked for you, if you guys subscribe, share, like, that would be great. All right, thanks guys, bye.